Welcome to the P's and Q's podcast. I'm your host, Quine Foray, and I'm living my best life, and I want to help you live your best life. On today's episode, I am so honored to have this incredible special guest here to share his wisdom and presence and many, many gifts. This man is extraordinary, and you're going to feel it as you hear it. You've probably heard his voice all over the world already. Bishop Larry Gators. Yes, ma'am. Welcome to the Auntie podcast. Auntie Grene, it is such a great honor to be on the P, P's and Q's um, podcast. I've been looking forward to this for some time now. Thank you so much for the invitation. Thank You're doing you. a magnificent job. Oh, thank you for accepting it. It is a great honor, and uh, I'm telling you, Los Angeles is blessed because of you. You're going to take it over. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely. It's your time. It's your season. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Larry, you're going to start off just making me cry. Oh. <laughs> Out the gate. What is going on yeah. with me in the tears? It I is just... <laughs> your time. It's finally come, and all your suffering is, is gone. Ooh, amen. All the sacrifices. It's your time. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Thank you for that blessing. God yes, is ma'am. great. Yes, he is. I am so profoundly grateful Thank you. For all the gifts, including yeah. wise beings and presence and love like you oh, in my life. It means thank everything. Thank you. Thank you. Bishop Larry Gators is the host of the nationally syndicated Global Spiritual Revolution Radio, mm-hmm. AM 570 and 102.3, iHeart Media Group. You guys have heard his voice all over the place. Tell us about your show for the listeners who are just learning about you. Yeah, Global Spiritual Revolution Radio and Media Group through the WMCA um, AM 570 FM 102.3. I've been in radio for 25 years. We are nationally, internationally syndicated through the iHeart Media Group yes. and the Salem Media Group out of New York City, New York. We average around 25 million listeners each week on, around the show, wow. around the world. And our show is in the top five most listened to. Uh, as a part of the iHeart Media Group family. And so we're so very proud of that. One of my favorite um, levels of wisdom that I love to share with our listeners, knowing enough about a subject to think you're right, but not enough about the subject to know you're wrong. In other words, it means that it's my assignment to stretch the minds of our listeners so that when I let go of their minds, the thinking will not return back to its original form or shape of thinking. Mm. So it's a not it's not so much a political talk show. We deal with people's pain and trauma, and we talked about that before. Mm-hmm. Um, pain is a mental constriction um, that keeps the individual from discovering their authentic self. That's pain. That's what we deal with on the radio show Mm -hmm. as well at global spiritual revolution radio. And also one of our hallmark themes concerning trauma, we teach people how to deal with their trauma Mm. and that trauma is not what happens to you. Trauma is what happens inside you Mm. as a result of what happened to you. So that's kind of the um, the DNA, the RNA of who and what we are uh, as Global Spiritual Revolution Radio. Yeah. Wow. And it's exciting. That is so powerful. Yeah. Because so many people are experiencing pain. Yes, ma'am. And trauma because of pain. Yes, ma'am. And you giving them tools to expand past that. And not limit themselves, not be defined by that pain. That. Yeah, we, that is such a powerful statement you just made there, my sister, not to be defined by that. Yeah. You see, a lot of people know what they are, but very few people know who they are. Mm. Because their pain and their trauma will not allow them to be them. And so we give them the tools, we give them the encouragement um, in these spiritual insights at Global Spiritual Revolution Radio, how to help them find them, you know. Mm-hmm. And it's not contingent upon your wealth, how much money you have and don't have, or your ethnicity, your skin color, but knowing who you are mm. in Christ, not just what you are. A lot of people define what they are by titles and their degrees and their education. Those things are important, mm-hmm. but that's not who you are. Tell it. That's 
what you are. Yes. But the question is, who are we? And that's what we deal with on a weekly basis wow. at Global Spiritual Revolution Radio. Yeah. And how would you start to scratch the surface of who you are? What would you tell someone if they want to embark on that journey? Have a intimate, well, that's a great question. Mm-hmm. Have an intimate relationship with Christ um, from a spiritual paradigm. But at the same time, we got listeners who are non-Christian, who are Muslim and uh, Hindus and Shintoists and atheists. Mm. So I try to incorporate all of them in a spiritual paradigm of connecting to the spirituality of who they are. Yes. You know, um, you cannot mask your pain. People try to mask their pain with things mm. and money and fame. Yes. Um, that only goes so far. But in order for people to connect who they are, they have to find out their pain. Mm. Why are you in pain? Mm. You know, people wake up, but they're still in pain and they're angry. And so we give them the tools. First of all, connect with Christ, connect with God, connect on a spiritual level. Yeah. And sometimes God has to separate you from family to do that. And people who are 30, 60, 80 years old, but emotionally they're five because that's where the trauma took place. Right. But connecting to yourself, through yourself, as yourself, mm. never needing to leave yourself to become yourself. Come on, man. And never needing anyone to affirm or confirm who you are on the spiritual level. Yeah. And so that's how we help people to connect themselves of who who they are. That is deep. Yeah. And beautiful. Thank you, ma'am. Wow, yes. I love it's that. It's powerful. <laughs> it's powerful. It's obvious that you've yeah. done a lot of work. A lot of work. Oh my goodness, a lot of work. And it's interesting, um, I have a weekly global masterclass oh. every Tuesday and Thursday on our YouTube uh, page, which is Global Spiritual Revolution Media Group. During the shutdown, uh, the church, the body of Christ, was forced to shut the building. So we were forced to go online. Mm-hmm. And this is going on, it'll be three years in July, God willing. And now we have over 275 million online registered student pastors on our website. Wow. Which is www.globalspiritualmovement.org. We're not a church or a ministry. We are a global movement. Yes. To help the individual to become who they are. Mm -hmm. Who are you? What is your purpose? Why was I born? You know? Yes. And this shell is just the house that houses who we are. Amen. Yeah. And that's that's my ality. I don't like to call it reality. Reality is the fallen state of ality. Reality is the matrix. I always use the term ality. Ality. I haven't yeah. heard that before. So you have reality, which is a, f- a fraudulent state of the of ality, which is called reality. Uh, and that's another topic for another day. Well, yeah. sounds yeah. like we could have a whole other episode about ality. <laughs> yes, ma'am. That was my yes. first time learning about ality. that. You better learn me something. I know. And even... The term human, we've been taught uh, we ought to to embrace our humanity. Well, Mm. according to the 1948 Valentine's Law Dictionary, it terms human as monster. What? As a primate, as an animal. So God did not design us to be human. I know that's that's a radical concept. Um, At Global Spiritual Revolution Media Group, New York, Los Angeles, we don't teach people to call themselves human. You're not an animal. You're not a primate. Mm. Okay? You are a spiritual being. That's right. That is for sure. Living in existence called time. Mm. So um, human means monster. So you're not a monster. No. So a part of that knowing who you are, what you are, what am I... What is my call? What am I called to do? Mm. Um, it is to revolutionize this generation hmm. and knowing who you are. Yes. If I can say a quick scripture. Oh, please. In the gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 7, verse 7, Christ declared, Ask, and it shall be given you, circle you. Seek, and ye shall find, circle find. Knock, and the door shall be opened unto you, 
succor you. So the totality of the ministry of the Lord Jesus Christ 2,000 years ago was to help you find you. Yeah. But you can't find you through the premise through other people. Mm. I tell men, mm. listen, you don't need the proximity of a woman to affirm and confirm who you are. Correct. God was seeing you, the woman, in time. So men make the mistake. They say, Bishop, if I can get a woman, I will be completed. No, God completes you. Yes. Then after Christ, who is God, completes you, then he'll see you, the woman. Right. The woman doesn't need the proximity of a man to define who she is. Mm -hmm. You're altogether powerful. But in time, God would send you the man in his season. And, and many times, too, um, we teach at Global Spiritual Revolution Media Group, in connection to Global Spiritual Revolution Radio, it's important for people to know their season. Mm. You see, a lot of people know their time, yeah. but they're not walking in their season. Life becomes easier when you walk in your season. Yeah. It's time for people to get married, but it's not their season. Mm. And so when people get married outside of their season, then comes complications mm -hmm. within the embryo of that marriage Though they are ordained to be together, but it's not their season. Been there. Damn. <laughs> let, everybody, <laughs> let everybody talk it. Come on, woman. My God. goodness. Yeah. Oh, so that's kind of the crux of who and what we are, not just as a global movement, but also as Global Spiritual Revolution Radio. So well, exciting. Thank you. So I want to ask you a clarifying question. Yes, ma'am. When yeah. you talk about the difference between the right time in the right season, mm. what do you mean exactly? Time, 2023, whether it's 2023, 2024, time is a period of our existence, but God does not operate in time. Mm. God is not subjugated to time. Time is subjugated to God. So let's say, a woman accepts a man's proposal, okay, mm -hmm. in 2023. That's time, but it's not the season. And when you're talking about seasons that are cyclical, we're not talking about spring, summer, winter, and fall. Okay. The term season, from a, a rabbinical interpretation, it means when God decides to act. Mm. When you have God's favor. Okay. And even if you have money, that doesn't uh, activate your season. So a season is not a certain part of a year, but it is the favor of God when God decides to act on your behalf. Mm. In other words, season, it really starts with when God decides to think about you. Hmm. A season, when people say, Bishop, I have an ideal. I have a thought. Mm -hmm. It's not a thought from God. It's a thought that is God. Oh. How can one determine whether they're in their season? The intuition that God is giving you and I, um, intuition and perception are the offsprings of discernment. Mm. Intuition is discernment from the inside out. Perception is discernment from the outside in. Mm. When you feel there's a red flag, and it doesn't mean that the man who proposed to you is evil, when he says, I want to marry next month, Wait a minute, there's a red flag, not toward him, hmm. but it's not the season. When, a, when God decides to act by first thinking about you, it's not a thought from God, it's a thought that is God. That's season. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of young people go to college outside of their season. And when, when it is their season, they feel like they want to move out. 
and they, they're struggling. Mm -hmm. Well, God never told you to leave your parents' house. You did that. So that's the differentiation between times and seasons. It's time, 2023. Yeah. But the season, you have to wait until God decides to move. And when doors open naturally, organically, that's season. Yes. Mm, yeah, you can that's feel that. The, you can feel that. Yeah. Um, and people are struggling because they're operating outside of their season. Almost like forcing things. They're forcing things. A young woman, a woman wants that man. I want to date him. I want to talk to him. But he's dating someone else who is not of God. So wait a minute, God has to put you on the shelf, the woman on the shelf, until he gets done with his foolishness. Mm. And then God would take her off of the shelf and give her to him and vice versa. That's season. Thank you for igniting others oh. on the path to dis rediscovering, yes. remembering who Come they truly are. Mm. When did you remember who you are, Bishop? That's a great question. Man, this is great. And I got to tell you, in 44 years of traveling the world and being on radio and television, you are probably the only individual, probably in the top three, that has stretched me like this. And I love it. Um, I would say 10 years ago, because I grew up in the church, the body of Christ, but I didn't know who I was. Mm. And I was kind of pigeonholed and put in this box. Okay, you have to say this. You cannot teach that. And I said to myself, something is wrong with the structure, not of the church, but of religion. Mm. This is what we call the term religion, for we are many. Oh. So um, the term religion um, Christ didn't come to give us religion. He came to give us an intimate relationship with him. But 10 years ago, um, I almost died. Uh, I was poisoned. And hey. I was also poisoned again three years, three years ago. Um, well, 10 years ago, I was at a restaurant in New York, in Brooklyn. Someone put rat poison in my, in my food, in my lunch. Stop it. Yes. What? And then it also had happened three years ago uh, in the Jackson Heights section of Queens. W why is someone trying to kill me? Yeah, that's a good so question. So I got friends with the NYPD and the FBI. They took care of that situation. But long story short, 10 years ago, I began to see who I was mm -hmm. facing death. Mm -hmm. um, even if, God forbid, I would have died, who I am can never die. That part. What the individual is, is in the coffin, but who they are can never be buried six feet under. Listen. That's when I realized, Queenie, 10 years ago, I'm coming into the knowledge of who I am, not what I've been taught. You know, the best is yet to be. Yes. The last of life for which the first was made. In other words, my best life started 10 years ago when I almost died. Yes. You were and also born, three years ago, born again. Born again. Look at God. And can I see this, say this as well, yes, uh, woman of God? In Christ, the born again experience is different from when you and I were born through our mother's womb. Now, through our mother's womb, our parents conceived us nine months to be born. So we're conceived to be born nine months later. But in the spirituality of who we are in Christ is the complete opposite. Mm. We are not conceived to be born, but we are born again to be reconceived back mm. to God prior to what we were, prior to Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. Wow. Th that detail of knowing who I am started 10 years ago. Yeah. In the face of death. In the face of death. And every day, and I, I share this with a lot of pastor friends and, and bishops, your born-again experience doesn't stop when you were born again in Christ. You're constantly being born again every day. 
Mm. when you're coming into the knowledge of who you are. Oh, I love that. Yes, ma'am. That's how it's it started. It's my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. I was birthday. born today. Oh, happy birthday. Well, thank you. Oh, my God. I, yeah. My birthday was back in February. I turned 60. People say I don't happy look 60. Birthday. You sure yeah. don't. Oh, my goodness. You guys I'm go kidding. check out Larry's face on the YouTube. He's over here looking all <laughs> smooth buttercream, okay? Listen. It, this is exciting. So, and some exciting news. Um, next year, God willing, we're Do launching uh, a TV show. Tell me called more. The Global Movement Television Talk Show through Apple TV. Thank you. Next fall, September 2024. We're also launching the official The Global Movement Studios oh in Burbank. God. Wow. Um, I said at Burbank. That's okay. Well, they don't know the address yet, but you will. Yes. Um, and so we're excited to give young people, not just young people, people who have been shut out uh, by the mainstream studio system here, and for whatever reason, mm -hmm. gives them the opportunity to exercise their giftings and their talents. Wow. Okay. So to be, you know, an executive producer, a screenwriter, a director of short films, documentaries. So it's the composition of both the Global Movement television talk show and the Global Movement a studio. So um, I love my career. I love what I have a purpose. Yeah, and you're executing on it. Ooh. And giving others a platform yes. to do the same, to do which the is same. such a blessing. Yeah, You are a blessing. And you know what? Thank you so much. You are a blessing. <laughs> And the thing is, I'm so happy to see you. Like you know, and what a such a great honor to be on your show, powerful show. You're changing the trajectory of people's lives. Wow. Yeah. Thank and, you. And and we teach people also that there's a difference between being healed and cured and made whole. Mm. People may be healed physically, but they're not cured of a broken heart. Yeah. And they may be cured of a broken heart, but they're not made whole spiritually. Yes. I remember, and I know we were short on time, uh, seven years ago, I was in Hamburg, Germany, teaching at a conference. The mind of God spoke to me when I was preparing in the uh, host pastor's office. It was a, a pastor's conference, about 300 pastors. And the Lord said through my intuition, he said, why are you trying to cast out cancer out of people when you're praying for them. Mm -hmm. We'll say, Lord, that's my assignment is to help people be healed to, you know, because cancer is a spirit. Say, no, your job, <laughs> Bishop, your assignment is not to cast cancer out of a body. Your assignment, your job is to remove the body out of the cancer, thus mm -hmm. destroying the law that created it. Well. The law of the lack of forgiveness, Ooh, the goodness. lack of self-healing. And so because cancer, and people said, well, cancer is coming back. Okay, it's in remission. Okay. But it comes back because the law that designed it still exists. Mm. The law of unforgiveness. Yeah. The law of not letting it go. Yes. The law of self-hate. Yes. So that's what we are at Global Spiritual Revolution Radio and Media Group in New York and Los Angeles. And that's what we're launching next year through the Global Movement Television Talk Show on Apple and the Global Movement Studios. Listen, God is so great. I'm coming to change <laughs> Hollywood. Oh, darling, you are already doing it. A, oh and you will God. continue along that path. This is powerful. Your assignment, sir. Oh, this, is, this has been a powerful powerful interview you are i gotta say you are so gifted Thank you. and i'm not saying that from the top of my head just to be saying it but you have a tremendous gift people are talented but they have not discovered their giftings that's another dimension well i know who i am you know who you are yes i do <laughs> <laughs> and that's why i'm here before we yeah. transition because we're going to have to do more episodes we got to i already feel this coming. I, I feel it too but i know yeah. you have a book 
Yes. That, oh, my God. I don't yes. know how much of it you can share, Ooh. but if you can give everybody just a quick little teaser, because you guys are going to be very interested in this topic. We have an upcoming book called Kobe Bryant, A Luciferian Project Completed. I'm not calling him Lucifer. I'm not calling him that he was a devil. The premise of the book is that um, we connect names uh, of individuals in Kobe's past and his present on that day, that tragic day mm. on the 26th of January, 2020. Who are these people? Who gave Kobe clearance to fly that day? You know, mm. um, to all of you out there, we did a, um, uh, a 13 part series on our YouTube um, um, channel, Global Spiritual Revolution Media Group on Kobe Bryant, the, a Luciferian project completed. And we just completed the 14th volume last night. Wow. You've got to watch it. So that book is coming out, uh, God willing, uh, in October. We will all be looking for that. And yeah. I, I just must say how much I appreciate you and your knowledge and the way you share it Thank with you, others. Each one, teach Thank one. You. Thank encouraging you. others to walk yes. in their purpose, yeah. to rediscover who they are, mm -hmm. and the truth. Mm -hmm. That's just the through line in everything that you do and yes. the way you Thank move you. through this world with truth and honor. Yeah. I am so excited oh. to have you back. Yes. We are definitely doing that because there's so much more to talk about. Yes. Can you tell everyone where to find you? How do they connect with you? Yes. Well, our, our global website is W. You always put a smile on my face. <laughs> dot global spiritual movement dot org, global spiritual movement dot org. And we have a foundation page that's under construction. That's triple w dot bishop larry foundation dot org, bishop larry found on the bishop larry foundation dot org. We're, we're been given, we've been given hundreds of thousands of dollars to organizations, to charities for the past five years. You can also find, it, find us on social media. Um, Facebook.com forward slash Bishop L Gators. I'm smiling because you're smiling. I'm smiling. <laughs> My Instagram handle is at Bishop John Wick, at Bishop John Wick. Um, oh, my Twitter, our Twitter, my Twitter handle is at Bishop L Gators, at Bishop L Gators. And we have uh, my staff talked me into creating a TikTok page. Why? That's for young people. But at <laughs> any rate, it's small, but it's, um, at Bishop John Wick, at Bishop John Wick. And yeah, yeah, definitely. And we, we, I look forward to coming back. I look forward to having you. I know my audience is going to be thrilled for your second time on the Peas and Kids mm. podcast. You guys make sure you go connect with Bishop Larry Gators everywhere you can find him. Reach out, share your stories, and just be friends. We're all a part of this beautiful community together. I'm so honored to be here to shine with you, and I love you. <laughs>